Hello everybody. In this video, we are going to study moment generating function. We are going to see what the moment is, how it is created and how it is used. We are going to see the moment generating function for both discrete and continuous cases and how it works. And we are going to derive moment generating function of a bunch of distributions. And using moment generating function, we are going to find the expectation and the variance of those distributions. We shall begin. So what is the moment? Moments are the expected values of random variable. In our case, our random variable is x, so our moments are expectation of x is the first moment expectation of x squared is the second moment, third moment, and nth moment. Before we go the meaning of moments, let's see how we are creating the moments. Basically, we create the moments by generating the moment generating function m of x. Once we have moment generating function, that we're going to see soon, then we take the derivative of the moment generating function and plug in zero. Then we obtain the first moment. So the first derivative of moment generating function is our first moment. Likewise, our second derivative of moment generating function is our second moment. Similarly, our third fourth and nth. So if you take the nth derivative of the moment generating function and plug in zero, then you obtain the nth moment. We said that moments are the expected values of the random variable. And we learned that the first derivative of the moment generating function at zero equals the first moment. Similarly, second, third, and the nth derivative of the moment generating function equals to second moment and nth moment respectively. Another important thing is moment generating function mx of t at zero equals to one always. So this is also important. We have four important moments. The first moment is our expectation. Second moment is about the variance. The third moment is, is about the asymmetry of the distribution. And the fourth moment is about how heavy its tails are. The third moment is used to create the skewness. And the fourth moment is used to create the curvices, which is coming from the Greek word and meaning curvature. Now let's see how we use the moment generating function. Moment generating function by definition equals the expectation of e to the tx. And if we take the definition of expectation, the argument here times the mass function for the discrete case and the argument here times the density function integrated in the area is the definition of expectation. So the moment generating function for discrete case is equal to summation of e to the tx times the mass function and for the continuous case integration of e to the tx times f of x under the region. So let's see how we use the moment generating function now. Let's start with moment generating function of a constant. Moment generating function of a constant. First, we start by the definition of moment generating function m mx of t is equal to expectation of e to the tx. If x is a degenerating random variable, then x is equal to that constant. So that is equal to e to the ct. So this is the moment generating function of any constant c. Now we can find the expectation. 
expectation is the first derivative and we plug t equals to 0. The derivative of this is c e to the c t and if we plug t as 0 here then we obtain c times e to the c times 0 which is c times e to the 0 which is c. So expectation of a constant equals to itself and that is expected. Let's also test if m of 0 equals to 1. Our moment generating function is e to the ct. And if we plug in here 0, we obtain e to the 0, that is equal to 1, so that is correct as well. So moment generating function of a constant is equal to e to the constant times t, and expectation of the constant is equal to that constant. Let's derive moment generating function of exponential distribution and using the MGF we can find the expectation and the variance of exponential distribution. First we start with the density function of the exponential distribution. The density function f of x of x of exponential distribution is equal to lambda e to the negative lambda x if x is greater than 0 and 0 else. Exponential distribution is the continuous distribution. So we are going to use this definition of the moment generating function. So using the definition of moment generating function, expectation of e to the tx will be equal to integral from 0 to infinity because that's what exponential distribution is defined in between e to the tx times the density function f of x which is lambda e to the negative lambda x dx. Now we're going to find this integral. We can take out lambda in front of the integral sign and we can merge e's. So it's going to be e to the t minus lambda times x dx. Here we have one condition that t minus lambda has to be less than zero or else our function blows up. So this is the condition we have to indicate. Now we can take the antiderivative of e to the t minus lambda. So it's going to be 1 over t minus lambda e to the t minus lambda x from 0 to infinity. Now we're going to plug in upper boundary and the lower boundary. When we plug in the upper boundary, we obtain 0 because we obtain here negative infinity and e to the negative infinity goes to 0. And if we plug in the lower boundary, we obtain e to the 0 here and e to the 0 is 1 and 1 times 1 over t minus lambda is 1 over t minus lambda. And if we simply, and if we distribute lambda inside, we obtain negative lambda over t minus lambda or if we make it positive, we obtain lambda over lambda minus t. So this is our moment generating function. Since we have moment generating function, now we can create expectation and the variance. Just before that, let's confirm that moment generating function at 0 equals to 1. So we have lambda over lambda minus 0 instead of t. We have lambda over lambda equals to 1. So that confirms that moment generating function at 0 always equals to 1. Now let's take the derivative of the moment generating function. The derivative of lambda over lambda minus t is lambda over lambda minus t squared. And if we plug 0 in this function, we obtain the first moment. That's going to be lambda over lambda minus 0, the quantity squared. That's going to be lambda over lambda squared, that is 1 over lambda. So this is the first moment or expectation of x. So 
expectation of the exponential function is 1 over lambda. Now we can find the variance. First we need to find the expectation of x squared. For this we need the second derivative. 2 lambda over lambda minus t, the quantity cubed, using the chain rule. Now if we plug in 0 at the second derivative, we obtain the second moment. So 2 lambda over lambda minus 0 to quantity cubed will be equal to 2 lambda over lambda cubed and if you simplify you obtain 2 over lambda squared. This is our second moment which is expectation of x squared. Variance by definition is equal to expectation of x squared minus mu squared. Our expectation of x squared we found 2 over lambda squared and our mu is 1 over lambda and we are going to square this. So we obtain 2 over lambda squared minus 1 over lambda squared. That's going to be equal to 1 over lambda squared. So this is the variance of the exponential function. Let's work on the moment generating function of uniform distribution this time. First we start with the PDF. The distribution function of uniform distribution is 1 over b minus a between a and b and 0 else, like here. This is a, this is b. Our function is continuous between a and b and 0 else. So we can take integral between a and b. So moment generating function m of t will be equal to expectation of e to the tx by definition and that is the integral between a and b of 1 over b minus a times e to the tx dx. Because 1 over b minus a is the constant we can pull it in front of the integral sign. Now we are going to integrate e to the tx. Antiderivative of e to the tx is 1 over t times e to the tx. And that's going to be from a to b. Our upper boundary is b and our lower boundary is a. So if you plug upper boundary instead of x, and lower boundary a instead of x again, we obtain e to the bt minus e to the at over t times b minus a. So this is our moment generating function. Let's test moment generating function at 0 equals to 1. So we're going to have e to the 0 minus e to the 0 over 0. So this is 0 over 0 in the determinate form. And if you use the L'Hopital's rule, which is taking the derivative of the top and the derivative of the bottom. Derivative of e to the bt is b e to the bt. Minus derivative of e to the at is a e to the at. And derivative of t times b minus a is b minus a. And this time if we plug 0, we obtain b minus a on top and b minus a on the bottom and that's equal to 1. So we confirm that moment generating function at 0 equals to 1. Our moment generating function for uniform random variable is 1 at t equals to 0 and e to the bt minus e to the at over t times b minus a when t is not equal to 0. We already confirmed that this is our moment generating function by the answer of the integral here. 
finding expectation and the variance of uniform distribution requires the first derivative and the second derivative of the moment generating function. That is more difficult than the traditional way of finding the variance and expectation. When we are finding the first moment, we take the derivative of this and it's going to be 0 over 0 in determinate form. Using the L'Hopital's rule, we obtain the derivative and then when we plug in t equals to 0, we obtain 1 over b minus a as our expectation. And finding the second derivative is again causing 0 over 0 in determinate form. We use the L'Hopital's rule using a bunch of chain and quotient rules which is going to be too messy. And then you obtain the second moment and then apply the variance definition. So moment generating function of uniform distribution might not be very easy to use for expectation and variance. Let's continue with the moment generating function of Bernoulli distribution. First, we start with the mass function. Bernoulli distribution is equal to p to the x times 1 minus p to the 1 minus x if x is equal to 0 and 1. So our support is only 0 and 1 for Bernoulli distribution and 0 else. Moment generating function by definition is equal to expectation of e to the tx. And expectation by definition is equal to this argument times the mass function and x from 0 to 1 because that's our only support e to the tx times p to the x times 1 minus p to the 1 minus x so we can do this summation easily by plugging in 0 and 1 so e to the t times 0 times p to the 0 times 1 minus p to the 1 minus 0 plus this time we're going to plug in 1 so e to the t times 1, p to the 1, 1 minus p to the 1 minus 1. 1 minus 1 is 0, anything to the 0 of power equals to 1. And this is equal to 1, this is equal to 1, because they have 0 of power. Here we obtain 1 minus p, plus here we obtain p times e to the t. So this is our moment generating function. Now we can find the expectation and the variance. The first moment expectation is equal to derivative of the moment generating function and we plug t equals to zero. So derivative of this is equal to p times e to the t. So derivative of moment generating function is p times e to the t because this is constant. Derivative of constant is 0. Derivative of e to the t is equal to e to the t. And if we plug in here 0, we obtain p times 1, p. So expectation is p. Now we need the second derivative. Derivative of p times e to the t is again p times e to the t. And if we plug in here 0, we obtain again p. So this is our second moment. Variance by definition equals to expectation of x squared minus mu squared. We found expectation of x squared as p. So we plug in here p. And our mu, which is expectation of x, is p. And we square it. So we obtain p minus p squared or if you factor out p you obtain p times 1 minus p and this is our variance.